My next guest has suffered major traumatic events in his life, from his father's brutal murder in a suicide bombing in Israel to surviving the unimaginable horror of terrorism. Emerging from the traumas to find a new path and a new purpose in his life while helping others find their own way, now he's here hoping to heal others with his new memoir, A New Sunrise. Welcome, author and life coach Jacob Kimchi. Thank you so much. For I'm so me. sorry. It's a new sunrise. There we go, and it's a be beautiful cover done by your niece, niece and nephew, niece yeah. and nephew. And but what a powerful, moving story. Thank you. It wasn't easy. It's still not easy, but we take it day by day, step by step, and being strong as we can. Absolutely. Well, you, were, you and I were talking on the phone, and you were describing what it was like after the trauma to, to kind of figure out wh who you were, what, what life was like afterwards. What helped you to move forward from, from that, that horror? Well, we can talk about my mom. My mom was the first one to grab myself, my, my brother, and my sister, and to tell us that we will stay united, strong, she commanded us to go to, back to school, university, back to work, back to work, and hug us, and said that with all the pain, we will be strong, and we needed to continue life. Um, I can tell you that I went back to university. Whew, I mean, I used to sit um, in front of my teacher, and I heard sirens and saw suicide bombers in front of my eyes. It wasn't easy for a long time. What you were going through was post-traumatic stress so that the, the images, the, the noise, everything that you, was, you were experiencing, which happened beforehand, was still so very much present in your life. Absolutely. And one of the things I did, which is kind of a mistake also, I, I didn't take care too much of, uh, of my trauma, but um, I, I pay a lot of attention to the fact I lost my father. Right. And I, I, I pushed it aside until I decided to get help. Yeah, that, and that was the turning point. So tell us a little bit about that, because that helped you, and then it, in turn you've helped others with your organization, One Heart. So I went, I refused to get uh, help from a psychologist. Right. Refused. And then a social worker in my hometown said, OK, come talk with me. And she was wonderful. And I just loved talking with her. And it was just like talking with a psychologist. Then she also took took me to a group meeting with kids my age who suffer from a loss, uh, suicide bombers who killed their parents as well. And um, I went to do my master's degree and I received um, a scholarship for my degree and I was so happy. I, I came to speak about victims of terrorism in, in America and then I decided to open a foundation and to help victims of terrorism around the world. Which is that One Heart organization. Which is One Heart, right. And what you and I have spoken about, which, which I think is so important to victims and to people that are going through any kind of struggle or trauma, is you have to talk. You can't just hold it in, and that's what you've shared with me. Right. It is like a poison. I know a lot of people who didn't want to share. And the poison, the pain, the trauma stayed inside instead of taking it out. And I could be one of them, and I decided not to thank God, and I decided to go into another path. And that's what I help people to do now, to take it out. And what are people saying that are part of the organization, that, that, that are communicating to one another, Jacob? It's, it's kind of amazing. I think that people sometimes um, don't understand how much terrorism is worldwide, hurting so many people. Um, and they think that terrorism hit only their community or themselves, or if they suffer from of a loss of their father or mother, it was just about them. And then they realize ah, there are so many other victims and other stories, especially when we're talking about teenagers. Um, they open themselves up to a new world, and then all their questions and nightmares and, and tears and Everything that they're going through, they see through other victims as well, and it helped them so much in life. This book is really about your journey, to, because initially what you said is that, that everything was dark, and then you moved into being able to see that, that the world could open up. Tell us a little bit about the book. It is my journey since the age of 10, um, when my father had his first explosion. My father drove a car um, 27 years ago, and his car got exploded. He lost one of his legs, both arms crushed, mm. 
took a long time to recover in hospital and he received life for another few years. Um, it described what happened to us, how we connected as a family and become so strong. Uh, my, my father, beyond amazing man, uh, so inspiring for his community and for the family. Um, unfortunately, happened what happened and he was murdered in another explosion. And um, you know, I, I take through my journey people to show them my darkness, where I've been through, which is so, so low and so, so hard to show them that there is a new sunrise for, a new sunrise for each one of us and, uh, and the light next to the darkness. It is up to us to choose to go there, and we should. And that's your choice. You made that choice, and you're showing other people the way, and you're about to open a new organization. What's that about? A new Sunrise Foundation. I want to continue to help victims of trauma worldwide, not only victims of terrorism this time. Um, trauma is, is, a, is a big world, there's a lot of meaning behind it. I think that people don't pay enough attention into it. So when I talk to people to let them understand what is the meaning, is trauma is not a scar on our face or a, a, a hand that we lost. It is a scar on the deepest place in our heart. People cannot see it. And if I will go to a party and to go and be happy anywhere, um, and people will not understand that. You know, I know, and, and, and I'm so glad you're doing this. Thank you so much, and we look forward to your new organization, The New Sunrise. Thanks, Jacob. Thank you so much. Power Your Life will be right back. Ahead, find out what's hot for next week. Before we go, I'd like to leave you with my PowerPoints for the week. I'm always so amazed at the incredible strength and the endurance that we have as human beings. No matter if it's lack of self-esteem or questioning our own self-worth or victims of abuse and of unimaginable violence, we have the ability to move beyond the hurt, beyond the pain and trauma, and to find our own way. What's the secret of so many heroic people like you? First, it's not to let whatever the challenge is in your life define you. If you do, it wins. Decide it will not win. Decide it will not defeat you. It will not have the last word. To emerge strong and as a winner, believe in your own ability to conquer the beast, whether it's inside of you or outside of you. Believing is the first step to achieving and can make all the difference in the world between your success and failure. Thanks for being with us today. Join us next time for more amazing guests to power up your life. See you then.